comes from Marca. And the best way that I could describe Marca would be as a mouthpiece for Real Madrid. This video is being sponsored by our friends at Surfshark. Now, you've probably heard people talking about VPN providers a lot. And I'm going to explain to you why it's a plus and why hopefully you should go with our friends at Surfshark. So Surfshark is an app or browser extension that allows you to look at the internet entirely anonymously and unlock the world's largest Netflix libraries, the likes of the USA and Japan. It it also keeps you safe and secure from hackers. Let's imagine you're out and about, you're having a cup of coffee, you're in college, you're in the pub, something like that. They use industry leading measures, uncrackable encryption, and the most secure VPN protocols to keep you safe and secure while you're having a look on the internet. Also, one subscription will run across all of your devices, meaning that there is no need to look elsewhere. One subscription, you got your phone covered, your laptop covered, whatever it is that you need. Surfshark is really easy to install as well. And right now, you can get an amazing 85% off and three months additional free by using our link in the description and the code Anfield Agenda at checkout. That is 85% off and three months additional free, meaning it works out at less than $2 a month. Now, this offer runs until the end of this year only. So if you're looking for a VPN provider, look no further. A friend at Surfshark have got you covered. What is up, my friends? You are very welcome along to tonight's Late Night Agenda. I do apologize that this is coming out a little bit later than it normally would, but you got to forgive me. I was watching the GOAT book his place in the World Cup final with Argentina. 3-0, messy goal, two assists. Argentina will be awaiting the winners of France versus Morocco. But that's not what we're here to talk about tonight. We are here to talk about Liverpool. And I'm hopefully going to do my best to put your mind at ease with some of the news that's been doing the rounds today. I'm mainly talking about the Marca story, and I will get into that in a couple of moments. But before I do, just a little reminder, I want to know your thoughts in the comments section. Do you agree with what I say? Do you disagree? And do you think that we should be going for one over the other? And that will become apparent who I'm talking about really soon. Do drop a like as well, and of course, hit that subscribe button for me. Right, look, let's start off with... A little bit of an oversight of all of this. So some people may or may not be aware that newspapers and publications in Spain are a little bit different to how they are in the UK and here in Ireland. There are many papers that are very club oriented and the story that printed or the newspaper that printed the story around Liverpool having turned their attention to Enzo Fernandez instead of Bellingham comes from Marca. And the best way that I could describe Marca would be as a mouthpiece for Real Madrid. That's the best terminology that I could use to describe Marca. So if you read anything from Marca, it's usually going to be very pro Real Madrid. And it's usually going to be pushing the narrative that Florentino Perez and Real Madrid wants. So I just don't believe it. I never believe anything that I see coming out of Marca. So let me just take you through the story. So according to Marca, Liverpool have turned their attentions to Enzo Fernandez instead of Jude Bellingham and Madrid have reignited their interest in Jude Bellingham. Just take what the publications in Spain have said here of face value. In the past few weeks, we've heard Madrid friendly publications say that they don't want Jude Bellingham that they have been made aware that Liverpool are the front runners and that their attention is turning to Enzo Fernandez. That then flopped to Enzo Fernandez is no longer of interest to Real Madrid and their priorities lie elsewhere. But still, nothing on Bellingham. Now all of a sudden, they want back in. I'm going to say to you what I've said to you all along. Jude Bellingham wants to come to Liverpool. Liverpool have put in a lot of groundwork to make themselves the front runner for Jude Bellingham, both to his representatives and to his family. You don't need to take my word for it anymore because it's been publicised high and wide. Liverpool are in pole position. It's not a done deal because there's still a fee to be agreed with Dortmund. And we have to talk about how that fee is paid. The reason that I'm calling Poo Poo on the Marca story, apart from the fact that I view them as a Real Madrid mouthpiece, is because one of the reasons that they give is because Liverpool view Enzo Fernandez as a cheaper alternative. Now, let's look at that at face value. Is there a possibility that Benfica could sell Enzo Fernandez for less than his 120 million euro buyout clause? Well, yes, of course there is. But if you have Liverpool, Real Madrid, Maybe Manchester City, I'm not sure on their stance with Enzo Fernandez and a few other clubs in. 
you're probably going to hold out, aren't you? You're probably going to hold out for as close to that 120 million euro buyout clause as you can get. And Jude Bellingham, I think, would probably cost in and around the same money. Could be 5, 10 million euro higher, but not a million miles away. Not so much so that you would waste years tracking Bellingham, schmoozing Bellingham, having Hendo and Trent cozying up to Bellingham, and all the other things that have happened. Just to go, ah, no, do you know what? We've changed our mind. We're going after Enzo Fernandez. It's not true. The interest in Enzo is absolutely true. Now, how deep that is, how far along they are in that, I don't know. I'm not the person to give you that information because, as I told you yesterday, from our side, all that we were told was that the people that we know that give us a little bit of information on time to time or occasionally, they aren't aware of any agreement in place between Liverpool and Benfica or Liverpool and Enzo Fernandez representatives. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean it isn't true. It just means I don't know about it. So I can't tell you information I don't have. But the idea that Liverpool are suddenly walking away from Bellingham after putting themselves in pole position to turn their attention to Enzo Fernandez, who, in my humble opinion, is an inferior midfielder to Jude Bellingham. I don't buy it. I just don't buy it. And I don't want you to be getting overly worked up or stressed about it. Look, we can debate who's a better midfielder till the cows come home. In my opinion, look at what Liverpool need right now. We need a leader. We need somebody who will be there for the future, somebody who will develop and continue to progress and hopefully improve those around him. Jude Bellingham is that guy. Jude Bellingham is the next huge talent in English football. Jude Bellingham is captain material and Jurgen Klopp notices and knows this. That's the reason why Liverpool are going strong on Bellingham. Is there a world where Liverpool sign both Enzo Fernandez and Lionel Messi? Well, apparently there is. And... You know, I'm not strong in football finances. I don't claim for it to be my forte and I won't lie about it. But there are people who are very well informed. One of the most well informed, in my opinion, that plies their trade and that you can be able to read up on is Mo Chatra. I think Mo, I still, I think he does stuff at Anfield Index. Uh, and if you want to give him a follow on Twitter, I really urge you to do so. At Mo, M-O Chatra, C-H-A-T-R-A. Very well informed, very well educated and able to articulate all the situation that's going on right now and Mo believes that there is a way Liverpool can afford to sign Enzo Fernandez and Jude Bellingham I will leave it to Mo and you guys to figure out the details of it because I quite simply don't know if you add to that another Twitter thread yesterday from a guy called at that Rex guy so at T-H-A-T Rex or E-X guy G-U-Y Go and check out his thread where he speaks about some tax wigglery, for want of a better phrase, uh, that Liverpool could and the potential new owner could go through and how this could be reflected in the sale of the club. I won't even pretend to un know that I understand it. I don't, but these guys know more about it. All I can say to you is this. Do not believe for one second that Liverpool have turned their attention away from Jude Bellingham because it's lies, lies and more damned lies. Real Madrid know they're in second place. Real Madrid are launching another, in my opinion, another PR campaign to try and schmooze a player. They don't like losing Madrid. They don't like losing on the pitch. They don't like losing off the pitch. They didn't like losing Mbappe back to PSG. They threw their toys out of the pram a little bit on that one. They thought that they were going to have a free run and go and sign Jude Bellingham, much like they beat us to Shuameni. We wanted Shuameni. He made it very clear Madrid was his preference. That's where he's ended up. Bellingham and his family, if you're to believe other media reports from the UK, view Liverpool as the best destination. And that's because we are. Now, that's where I am on all of this. I just wanted to address this rumour because... You kind of see a lot of stuff printed between now and the time this transfer will happen in the summer. Lots of twists and turns still to go. But make no bones about it. Liverpool are very much in the box seat and Liverpool very much still want Jude Bellingham. The stuff around Enzo Fernandez, the interest dates back. The earliest I remember seeing it was, I think Melissa Reddy wrote something um, two, three months ago, perhaps. And another reason why I don't believe the old Enzo pay the release clause stuff is he was signed five months ago for about 10 million euro from River Plate to Benfica 
And I don't know a world where John W. Henry would suddenly be willing to pay 12 times what was paid for him five months ago for a player who is good, but is he generational good like Jude Bellingham? I don't know. I don't think so. But I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't say no to having them both in midfield. But I don't believe this nonsense coming out of Mark. And I don't want you to believe it either. So, as always, it's over to you now. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Maybe you have a different view on this to me. I don't know. I can just tell you what I know and what I believe. And it's over to you from there, my friend. So, look, I will see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. I'll be recording another video after the semi-final between France and Morocco and we'll cover all the Liverpool news for that one. Until then, thank you very much for your time as always. Do hit that subscribe button and drop a like on the video. I'll see you soon. Much love. Bye-bye.